Ladies and gentlemen of the Shrek Gaming Citicom video, we've got a small update concerning, well, pretty much all of the new graphics cards coming out from NVIDIA, plus, as well, we can add a new one to the list, possibly. So what's basically happened is, I'm sure many of you by now are aware of the GeForce GTX 750 Ti, the GTX Titan Black Edition, as well as the GTX 790. Well, we've got a small update concerning all of those. Concerning the Black Edition, it's pretty much all but confirmed that it's going to support 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 uh, memory. It's actually been listed for 974 euros on a website and uh, the actual name for this card is and this is with no spaces GTX Titan Black hyphen 6 GD5 I've got this in an article by the way in case you just want to make this easy on yourself you can just click on it but still um, so that of course does confirm that we're going to be seeing 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, although most of the features haven't been announced yet, but it's looking to be the same amount of CUDA cores that's found in the GTX 780 Ti, so that's 2880, um, but it's got double the amount of RAM, so 6 rather than 3 gigs, and has a full double precision computing performance, which probably won't really be worth it for most PC gamers if I'm totally honest with you most would probably be better just getting the TI um, unless you really need the compute performance for I don't know rendering or something else we don't have a release date either uh, it's likely coming within about the next month but once again that's some guesswork Asus are also uh, listing the GTX 790 and this too comes with 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, but we don't know the release date or the pricing yet, but it's looking to be fairly expensive. So what else have we got? Well, I'm sure the hardcore tinkerers among you will be aware of GPU-Z. Now, I've got these patch notes written in the article, or you can just, you know, Google it yourself, totally up to you. But suffice to say, the new version of GPU-Z... Uh, that's 0 0.76, does support NVIDIA's Titan Black Edition. It also supports the Maxwell-based GTX 750 Ti, as well as GTX 750, that's non-Ti, by the way, and also mentions of this light edition, uh, GTX 760. In fact, in the patch notes, it says GTX 760 192-bit, which is probably a good indication that we're going to be seeing a narrower uh, bus width. Um, but obviously, exact specifications and the normal uh, gook are, well, up in the air. It also supports, by the way, numerous extra graphics cards from the video that I'm not going to bother to reel out, including, for example, some of the Kavari based uh, APUs. And obviously, I've got a link to that in the article if you so wish. So, not huge updates. We don't have performance reports. Obviously, uh, I've already discussed the leak to benchmarks from uh, for the GTX 750 Ti. I've got links to that in the article if you do want to check it out. I'm certainly not going to re-read re out everything again, but just to reiterate, it's looking to be, you know, a little bit faster than the 650, really, um, of comparative uh, model numbers. It's not going to set the world alight. It's, you know, 7 10% faster. Um, so it's really looking to be a low power part but once again we don't have numbers regarding power consumption and we don't really have enough uh, really good benchmarks and we don't know things such as you know what drivers are they using um, that type of thing uh, it's a lot of different um, elements that are somewhat up in the air with that but I just thought you guys would like the update anyway anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video I'll see you soon Take care. Bye for now.